What's up guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you guys the long-awaited 2D animation and intro tutorial for After Effects. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for this and here it is. Um, I think I'm about the only person on YouTube doing doing this and um, I'm planning on doing it in parts so the videos aren't like 30 minutes long or something. I'm going to try and do them in like 5-10 minute sections. Um, anyway. This tutorial here is inspired by, I believe his name is Clementi Designs. Um, he had a pretty good tutorial, but there's a few issues I saw. Number one, um, there's some things he didn't cover that I felt he should have, and he also didn't um, really explain some of the things very well. And um, there's some stuff that I felt he should have shown, which he didn't. And the other issue is for Americans, this, this is only problem for Americans, is he's got a really thick accent, which makes him hard to understand. And his program is um, in German, I think. I'm not 100% sure what language, but it looked like German to me. So you couldn't really see the stuff he was clicking on. So uh, anyway, hopefully I can make the tut or improve on his tut. And um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to grab the pen tool here, and I'm just going to make a line. Hold down Shift while you're doing this. That way it make, it's uh, straight. And then I'm going to give it a stroke. Um, right here and then I have it set at 7 the, the pixels doesn't really matter however thick you want it and then under the shape here I'm gonna open it up and go to contents shape uh, stroke and then what I like to do is I like to put a round cap that just rounds off the ends I think it looks a little better and then uh, let's see under add here click on that and go ahead and close out of that Anyway, go back to add here, and then we're going to go ahead and hit on trim paths. And then under trim paths, let me open that up. Um, we're going to go ahead and set the start at 100, and we're going to click on the stopwatches, move ahead a bit, and then we're going to bring them both down to zero. Now, as you can see, that really is not doing anything. So, whoop, that's not all the way at zero. There we go. So what we need to do is we need to offset them a little bit. And then if we play this, you can see it's kind of like a just a line shooting across the screen, which at the moment looks kind of pointless, but uh, you'll see some of the cool stuff you can do with it in a second. So now that we've done that, um, what I want to show you guys is uh, like how to, let's say you have a, a circle and you want those lines shooting out from around it. Well, let me show you how to do that. So let's open this up. We're going to open up the transform and under rotation here, we're going to all click on the uh, watch and then we're going to type in index star and let's do, uh, let's do 40. Why not? And um, as you can see, it moved it off to the side there. And if we hit control D, we can either click it or we can just hold it down and it'll automatically duplicate it for us. Anyway, so now, as you can see, we get this cool effect like that. So there's that, and then um, we can offset these, um, and it will, you know, do one at a time or whatever. You know, offset them by a couple frames, so they end one right after the other. But um, the issue with this is, um, well, if this were spaced out more. Um, it wouldn't be so clustered together, but that looks cool anyway. So let's say we had spaced this out more so a circle could fit in the middle. Um, if you notice, um, these aren't quite lining up correctly. They're, you know, they're kind of all over the place, which is fine depending on the look you want. But if you want them to line up perfectly, then here's what you need to do. And this is what he didn't cover that I thought he should have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and alt click on the stopwatch again just to erase what I've previously done. Um, here's what you need to do in order to do that. Number one, we need to get this point here lined up in the center. So what we need to do is we need to take this tool and we need to move this to the center. And I'm going to give it some space. And the other thing I'm going to do is hit control R. I'm going to bring up my roller. I'm just going to put this right in the middle here. There we go. And now I should be able to be able to align this a little better. Um, I believe we can also use our anchor points here. Yeah, we can. Okay, this may be a little more accurate. So 
that's close enough. I'm not going to worry about it too much because this is just a tutorial. You guys can spend some more time on it trying to align it. But uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So uh, now that that's lined up, um, we can go ahead and hit Alt, Rotate, and let's type in index star 26. And then now if we rotate it around, you can see it still doesn't line up. Well, why, why is that? Because we didn't type this in. Well, okay. Ugh. We need to tell it how many pieces we want and it'll automatically align it. So a circle is um, 360 degrees. So if you remember from my um, previous Titan Illustrator, I showed you guys how to do this and it's kind of similar. So we type in index um, uh, star and we type in 360, which is the um, what a circle is, it's 360 degrees. And then we put in a forward slash and then we type in the number that we want. So we'll just do 26 like on the last one. But you'll notice this time when I bring them around, it lines up perfectly. So, and as you can see, there's 26 and they all line up perfectly. Um, obviously, you don't have to do it like that if you don't want it to line up perfectly. Like, um, say we want this to, you know, make kind of like a, rant, a random pattern. We can move it off over here, bring it up a little bit. Let's see, some, let's try something like that. See what we get. So I'm going to all click on the rotation, and I'm just going to type in index star 30 or oh, 20, 30. There we go. And let's see what we get. Let me just duplicate this, and now. So there you go. That looks pretty cool. But I'm just saying, like, if you want it to go out from a circle, like perfectly out from the sides and stuff, then you'll need to align it. Um, you'll need to align, I guess this is the axis point. You'll need to align that in the center. And um, you'll need to type in that code I showed you, that index star 360 forward slash 26 or whatever number of um, lines you want shooting out. How much time is there? That's Okay, this has been seven minutes. So I think this is going to be it. Um, so you've learned you know how to make this line, these uh, lines shooting out, and I showed you an expression to help control them. Um, so hopefully this will help you guys. I plan on making some more 2D um, animation tutorials here soon. Um, I just want to get this out of the way because I saw the, tutor the uh, tutorial from the other guy today, and I felt like it could use some improving, so I just try to improve upon what he already had. Um, but feel free to go check out his channel. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to steal any credit from him or, you know, belittle his work or anything. I'm just, you know, trying to improve on what's there. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Peace.